Alrighty, we are back for another Cities of Sigmar paint scheme tutorial. And today, as I'm sure you've garnered from the description and the thumbnail, we're painting Mist Haven, which is my favorite city and the city I plan to do my army in. So, we're going to start off with Apothecary White contrast paint. Give it a good shake because this paint likes to separate. And we're starting with this because... Um, the the blue on the outside of the shield um, will cover over this just fine if we make a mistake. This will not cover over the blue quite as well. So we can be a little sloppier with this one and then be careful with the blue. Um, and these shields are quite nice. They have uh, they have three or two divisions in them. So that they're, they look like they're made of three boards, basically. Um, unfortunately, the painters only used the fact that there are three boards in there in one of the designs, and it's this one. I feel like they could have done more with, like, you know, they could have put red down the middle, yellow on the sides, or blue in the middle, and purple on the side. Like, they could have done a lot of things, I feel like. But maybe they were trying to stay away from mimicking any national flags. Um, like real life national flags, I mean, um, since lots of flags have three colors like that, maybe that was the reason I'm not really sure. But in any event, there's our apothecary white down. I'll let that dry. Alrighty, we are back and we're moving on to our next color and that's going to be Battleship Gray from the new Speed Paint. Oh, this doesn't actually say 2.0 on it. Interesting. Well, it is from the 2.0 because it came out of the 2.0 mega set. Uh, it doesn't say 2.0 on it, though, interestingly, like uh, like that one. Maybe this is one of the old colors that they redid for 2.0. I'm honestly not sure. But in any event, let me get some of this out on the palette. One of the downsides of um, Speed Paint is that it's in bottles. It's much easier to use contrast out of a pot. But when you need this color, you need this color. So this is just going on the sides here and I'm trying to avoid the the metallic when at all possible but our metallic is much darker than this color so it's not the end of the world if it doesn't uh, or if we get a little bit on there we'll just darken this up a little bit there we go and then do it on the other side as well down around this filigree here. I need to make sure that I get the sides. And the side here. Alrighty. So there we go. Our blue is on there. Might need to do another pass once this dries. We'll see. Um, but for now, I will let this dry and we'll come back and do the next color. Alrighty, we are back, and I did end up putting a second coat of the, uh, what is this called, Battleship Gray uh, on there. So there's just a look differentiation between the gray white in the middle and the gray blue on the sides. Now we're going to move on to Broadsword Silver. This, this does say 2.0 on it, because all the metallic paint are definitely from the 2.0 line. Um, and I'm going to do all of the metal on this guy, or on this shield with this color. Um, the diamond in the middle here is going to be black, but I want it to have a little bit of a metallic sheen to it. And so I'm going to put this metallic on it first. So I'm just putting it on as smooth as possible. The, uh... The metallic speed paint does lay down really smoothly, at least from my testing so far. I've painted probably, I don't know, I've probably used not each one, but in total I've probably put metallic speed paint on 20 or 30 models at this point, and uh, I've been impressed with it. And I think I've used every single one. I haven't, like I said, I haven't put all of them on. I haven't put every single one on all 30 models, but I've tried them all 
and at least one has gone on probably 30 models. So then I'm going to do this filigree up top here. This is uh, this will be staying this color. Apart from the rivets or screws or whatever they are, those will be getting a lighter silver at the end. But uh, yeah, I'm just going to finish up this filigree, let it dry, and then I'll come back and we'll put the black on the center, put the lighter silver I just talked about on the rivets, and we'll be about ready to call this done. Alright, so we are back, and now we're going to put on the black, and we're going to use Black Templar for this. Um, this is the bluer of the two contrast blacks. There's Black Legion, which is more of a brown tone to the black, and then this Black Templar. I'm just going to get my brush a little bit wet, and this is just going to go straight on here over all the metallic we just left. And I will leave, I'm not going to paint all the way up to the edges, or rather, I'm not going to paint the, the sides here. I'm going to leave a metallic line, basically, there on the sides, just to uh, kind of sell that this is still a metallic, even though it is very dark black. Just smooth this out. And, of course, the transfer will be on there. You'll see that in the final. But uh, well, let me get down here. There we go. So I'll let that dry, and then we will come back and put all the uh, light silver on all the rivets and bolts. All right, we are back, and our black is all nice and dry. Now we're going to just take some polished silver and very carefully dot it onto our rivets and bolts here. Won't be a huge difference up here, but there will be some. I think you'll be able to see the difference when you've got a bunch of guys lined up. And obviously you'll be able to see the difference against the black. So Then, after this dries, I'm going to take, not 100% sure yet, either some Agrax Earthshade or some Skeleton Horde maybe. And just do a little bit of shading. So I will... Let that silver dry because we don't want that silver running into our wash. And then once it is, I'll come back and we'll figure out the washing step. Okay, so this is something that I've just encountered. Um, I went to put on some Skeleton Horde. And I was just going to put it on and then take it back off. But I just wanted to see what it looked like first before I put it in the video. And... When I dragged my brush across this middle part here, it tore the Black Templar straight off. Which is very interesting. Um, I've used Black Templar on hundreds of models, easily. Maybe more than a thousand. Um, and put ink wash, co other contrast paint, all sorts of stuff over the top of it. Never had an issue. So... That color under there is Broadsword Silver, one of the speed paints. So it seems like the contrast paint is not able to adhere to this surface for whatever reason. I'm not sure why. Um, it adheres to other silver just fine. Um, do I have an example? This is, yeah, here you go. This is a Imperial Fist that I was painting. And this whole gun here was painted... I mean, this might be Lead Belcher. One of the Games Workshop silvers. And then this was put over top of it. And then um, Null Oil was put over this. I, As you can see, I edge highlighted it. Um, and his arm's not glued on, if that wasn't clear. Um, and that didn't happen. So that's very interesting. Not being able to put another color over the metallics... It's interesting. Something to keep in mind for sure. Um, I am going to continue. I'm going to put the black back on here. And I don't know. Hope for the best, I guess. Hope to not touch it too much. We're going to have to see. 
But uh, in any event, I did end up, because this happened in the middle of me putting the skeleton horde on, I did end up putting the skeleton horde on and just leaving it, and I do I do like it. You can't really tell what it did on, on camera, but I, it did change it a little bit in real life, and so I like that. But now, I will correct the black, but I'm going to do Agrax Earthshade now. Get my brush a little bit wet. And I'm just going to put this in the, the, like, the cracks here between the boards. So right down here. And up here. Just to give the, the dividing lines a little more oomph, basically. There we go. Focus for me. And then I'm just going to put it up here around the around the metal. Same with up here. Just to show there's like some grime or something that's collected up against that uh that metal where the soldier may not be able to clean it as well. And then maybe I'll do it along here as well. Why not? Why not? So yeah, and then that will about do it. I'm going to get... I forgot about this down here. Um, I will correct that black and then put the transfer on. And so hopefully right about now you should be seeing the final product. But yeah, that's very interesting about the... Uh, about Black Templar over that speed paint. I'm going to have to do some more experimenting and see exactly what the reason for that is. Um, this isn't a new pot of Black Templar, but it is new-ish. There's quite a bit in it, so I guess it's possible that there's something wrong with this, but I don't think so. I'm pretty sure I've used this pot on several things. In fact, I think I've even painted that Imperial Fist with this pot. Um, so I'm thinking it's something to do with the surface created by these speed paint metallics. And to be fair, completely fair to Army Painter, these are advertised as a one coat system, right? So you don't necessarily need to be putting another color on top of them. At the same time, that was their reactivation issue is just because they're not meant to have stuff put over them. I still don't want the paint reactivating, right? And so I would still like other paint to stick to the top of these. So more, more research is required. I'll figure that out. But in any event... If I haven't already said it, I might have said it. Right about now, maybe, you'll be seeing uh, the final product. Thank you, everybody, for watching. Feel free to subscribe to the channel, hit the like button, and I will see you on the next one.